Everyone is familiar with the traditional method of hatching eggs, so-called floor management, with cocks and hens together in one large house. However, the disadvantages of floor management have been known for a long time. There's no doubt that the critical hygiene conditions are the most significant disadvantage of floor management. Dried droppings, filth and dust form the ideal nutrition medium for diseases and parasites such as worms. Floor management means that the house needs to be checked several times a day to gather the floor eggs. If these eggs are not trodden on, losses can be reduced by gathering them, which is, however, a time-consuming affair. And it's not only the gathering of these eggs that means extra working hours. Because there are many dirty eggs, many hours must also be spent cleaning them. Floor management also makes it quite difficult to exercise good quality control of the birds. It's practically impossible to sort out unproductive hens or worn out cocks. These non-productive birds represent considerable feed waste and therefore a significant loss of money. All these disadvantages inspired the Tenelson Company, world-famous producer of specced batteries and active in the field of poultry breeding since 1967, to develop a new and better system for the production of hatching eggs. The system of artificial insemination. With extra net hatching of 3%, the Tenelson Company did not hesitate in presenting this system to its clients all over the world. It was first introduced in Belgium in 1981. In Poland, artificial insemination was presented for the first time in 1991. The system of artificial insemination is quite simple. Using a small tube, the semen is drawn from the cock and immediately inserted in the oviduct of the hen. In normal circumstances, the semen remains usable for 20 minutes, but if required, it can be kept for 24 hours by simply adding a thinner. The cocks are held in separate cages, so it's possible to give them cheaper feed than the hens. This results in further considerable savings in feed costs. The insemination technique doesn't require any special knowledge and anyone can learn it quite quickly. We use simple insemination syringes, no expensive or highly complicated instruments. Artificial insemination also results in a higher insemination rate compared to natural insemination. Each hen is inseminated, there's no preference of the hens for one cock and no refusal to be inseminated. The system of artificial insemination automatically comprises good quality control of the birds. Hens that do not lay can't be inseminated as they do not evaginate. These hens are removed so there's no feeding of unproductive birds. Cocks that do not produce good semen are also sorted out. There are always cocks that produce semen of an inferior quality. Artificial insemination not only results in a higher hatching rate, 3% more or 8% more chicks, it also has many other essential advantages. There are no floor eggs, so no soiled eggs. Cleaning is not necessary. And, of course, clean eggs are infinitely more hygienic than dirty ones. There's also a significant saving of time without the need to gather floor eggs.
Artificial insemination makes total hygiene possible, so the risk of parasites or diseases is considerably reduced. Simple activities such as separating the house from the outside world, maintaining the correct temperature and humidity in the house, and washing and sterilizing the small insemination tubes make it possible to achieve maximum profits and high quality. For artificial insemination, the egg room is the same as with floor management. For both systems, the correct temperature and humidity are important. However, artificial insemination is more hygienic because dirt that otherwise sticks to your shoes is not brought into the egg room. We would also draw your attention to the fact that the feed consumption of the hens is considerably lower as hens in cages move less and suffer less stress than floor managed hens. Feed waste is also considerably reduced by the cage concept. We can confidently assert that the introduction of artificial insemination results in high quality and cost savings. How much better off you would be will become clear by means of the following arithmetical example. We'll compare the systems of artificial insemination and floor management for 20,000 parent birds. For artificial insemination, we obviously only need one house. For floor management, we need three houses. This results in a cost benefit of 88,800 Deutschmarks. No heating or litter are needed for artificial insemination. This represents savings of 12,650 Deutschmarks. Artificial insemination requires 7% less cocks, with 4% fewer birds having to be replaced. A further benefit of 27,280 Deutschmarks. Artificial insemination in batteries results in feed savings of 20 grams a day per hen. With 7% less cocks, the yearly benefit amounts to 63,500 Deutschmarks. With 3% more hatching eggs, we have a further cost advantage of 29,700 Deutschmarks. With floor management, we need 6 people for 6 days and 2 people for 5 hours a week. The total labour cost for one year amounts to 572,160 Deutschmarks. For artificial insemination in batteries, we need six people for four hours, five days a week, and two people for seven days. The total yearly labor cost amounts to 445,440 Deutschmarks, which is 126,720 Deutschmarks less expensive than floor management. The total cost savings for artificial insemination amount to 348,650 Deutschmarks a year, which is 176 Deutschmarks 89 pfennigs per hen, or 12 pfennigs per egg.
Artificial insemination not only offers significant cost advantages, higher quality and better hygiene is also ensured by this system. The eggs stay clean and the risk of disease is greatly reduced. This is why the Ten Elson company would like to share with you its know-how and experience in the field of artificial insemination.